Now, let's get back to the issue of pandemic overreach and the need for a royal commission. Such an inquiry is just what Anthony Albanese promised as opposition leader. It is beyond doubt that you will need an assessment. Whether that be a royal commission or some form of inquiry, you will, that will need to happen. And then, after he won the election as Prime Minister, he confirmed he'd institute some sort of national inquiry. I would have thought uh, that you'd want to do something as soon as, as practicable. Well, one year on, we're still waiting. Let me bring in New South Wales Liberal Democrats MP John Ruddick. Thanks for joining us, John. Good evening, Chris. Um, a Royal Commission. Albo promised it. Why haven't we seen anything yet? It took me half an hour of a Google search, Chris, to find five separate occasions over an 18-month period where Anthony Albanese, either as opposition leader or prime minister, emphatically said either a Royal Commission or an inquiry, but what other type of inquiry are we going to have? And do you know what's even worse? Um, Katie Gallagher chaired a Senate committee that had it released its report just before the last federal election. And that explicitly said, we need to have a royal commission into our response to COVID. Now, Anthony Albanese was very in favour of it, as, as your viewers have just seen. It all stopped when we saw the last budget papers. There was no, there was no funding for it. And he was asked last Monday, well, when, where's the royal commission? And, and, and Anthony Albanese said, well, well, we'll have it when the pandemic's over. Well, I've got some good news for the Prime Minister. The World Health Organisation, those fear muggers in Geneva have officially declared it over. So bring it on, Mr Prime Minister. Bring it on. Look, you're a state politician. This is important, right? Because to do this properly, you have to look at what the federal government did yes. and you have to look at what all the state governments did. Now, surely the way to do that is to have concurrent royal commissions. You'd, you'd probably have to have matching legislation in the states and Canberra so you could have one proper inquiry looking at everything because it all happened under National Cabinet. I agree entirely. I believe that there should be a federal royal commission because the federal government did a lot. All the state governments had a different response. It wasn't a huge difference in some areas, but we should have state and probably even territory royal commissions into the whole pandemic era. So what are you going to do in the New South Wales Parliament to try and force the issue there? Oh, well, I'm certainly going to be agitating for a New South Wales-based royal commission in, into the, 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 the government's response to COVID, all aspects of it. And uh, what have you heard there? Because, I mean, there's been talk of various types of inquiries in some of the states, but no state has really launched a meaningful inquiry at this stage. It seems to be that both sides of politics almost just want to move on and, uh, and put all these mistakes and successes behind mm. us. I want to say something positive about Jacinda Ardern. One of the last things she did was... She initiated a New Zealand Royal Commission into COVID, and good on it. Uh, so now we keep hearing that there's going to be future pandemics, Chris. Well, if that's the case, you've got to learn. Let's learn from the last one.